Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I had shown you how to design this animated sidebar using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, I'll show you how to make this responsive. So let's get started. Right here is our source code and let's go ahead and make this responsive. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a button to display and hide this sidebar because when we are on the mobile version, we don't want to display even this uh, smaller version of the sidebar. We will just hide it all together. So let's go ahead and uh, create a division for that. So let's go to the HTML file and here inside this custom sidebar, Let's create a division and let's give it a class of sidebar button. Now in this way we'll have an icon. So let's go ahead and get the icon from heroicons.com. Right here I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for chevron. And let's just copy this icon right here, chevron right. So let's click on copy SVG. And let's go back and let's paste it over here inside this division. Right now we can see that this uh, icon is displayed in the sidebar. Now we need to position this over here on the right side. So let's do that. Let's go to our style.css file and let's add some styles for that. So I'll just type custom sidebar, sidebar button. And let's position this sidebar button relative to this custom sidebar. So let's type position and uh, let's set it to absolute. Right now let's set the width to 26 pixels. Right now let's set the top position to 50% and now we can see it starts from the 50% mark. So we also need to type transform translate y negative 50%. Now it is exactly in the center and we need to bring it to the right side. So let's type right and uh, let's try zero. And now we can see it is inside this uh, sidebar. We need to bring it outside the sidebar over here. So let's add a different value. I'll just type negative 26 pixels which is the width of our sidebar button and now the sidebar button is outside this custom sidebar and if we scroll up here we can see that we have set the overflow to hidden so that's why it is not being displayed so if i comment this overflow hidden we can see that the arrow is being displayed so let's uncomment this and uh, let's go to the media query so i'll just tap at media and uh, let's tap max width and I'll just set it to 600 pixels. So whenever the width of the screen is less than 600 pixels, all the CSS that we have inside this block will be added to our design. So here let's tap custom sidebar and let's set overflow to visible. Right now let's continue styling this sidebar button. So here let's add a background color and let's set it to 0D1B2A. And let's set the color of the icon to white. And uh, right now it is not exactly in the center. So let's tap display of flex. Right now let's add a padding and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And uh, let's also add border radius. So I'll just tap border radius and uh, 0, 4 pixels, 4 pixels, and 0. So now we can see we have this rounded corners. And let's also set the cursor to pointer. Now here for the logo, we don't have rounded corners. So let's add that. So here let's type custom sidebar. And for the logo, we have a division with a class of logo. So let's type dot logo. And here let's type border radius. And let's set it to 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 0, 0. Right now we have the border radius displayed. All right now in the mobile version, we won't have the option of hover. So let's set the width to 300 pixels by default. So here we can see that uh, when we hover over it, we are setting the width to 300 pixels. So here by default, we will set the width to 300 pixels. And we also need to display the labels. So here we can see in the desktop version, we are displaying the labels only when it is hovered. But in the mobile version, we need to display it always. So here, let's tap custom sidebar, label, and let's set it to opacity one. And uh, if you scroll up, here we can see that we are also moving it to translate X of zero. 
because by default we are setting it to translate x of negative 20 pixels so we are moving it to the left by default so let's scroll down and uh, let's also reset the transform value so here i'll just type transform translate x zero right now when we hover over this we can see that the menu title and these anchor tags move to the right so let's stop that so here let's type custom sidebar and uh, we have this uh, division with the class of menu title so let's tap menu title and uh, we need to stop moving it when we hover over it so here we need to tap colon hover and uh, if you scroll up here for the mobile version here we can see when we hover over it we are setting the padding to 0 32 pixels but if you scroll down here by default the padding is set to 0 20 pixels so let's add the same padding over here so let's tap padding 0 20 pixels now let's hover over this and we have some problems in the styling and this should be menu title so let's change this to menu title and now if you hover over this we can see that the menu title doesn't move now let's do the same for these uh, anchor tags over here let's type custom sidebar and in that we have division with the class of menu and in that we have anchor tag so let's tap menu a and here we will set the margin to 0 24 pixels right now let's go over here and let's hover over this and uh, we don't have anything moving now the next thing we will do is uh, we will hide this uh, sidebar by default so for that let's go back to the sidebar and uh, here let's tap transform translate x and let's set it to negative 100 percent and now a little bit of the sidebar is being displayed that's because if we scroll up here we can see that for the desktop version we have set the left value to 24 pixels so here let's set the left value to zero so let's tap left zero and now we can see that the sidebar is completely hidden right now when we click on this button we need to display the sidebar so when we click on the button we will add an active class to this sidebar so here let's tap custom sidebar dot active and uh, when it is active let's set the transform translate x to zero and uh, let's go back to the html file and uh, let's try and add an active class over here so let's tap active and now we can see that the sidebar is being displayed but if you remove the active class the sidebar is not being displayed but now let's add the functionality of adding and removing the active class when we click on this button using javascript so we have this button called sidebar btn so let's go to the main.js file and here let's tap const sidebar button equals document dot query selector and let's tap custom sidebar sidebar button and we also need to target the sidebar because we need to add and remove the active class so let's tap const custom sidebar equals document dot query selector and let's tap custom sidebar right now let's add an event listener to this sidebar button so let's tap sidebar button dot add event listener and let's listen for the click event let's create an arrow function over here now here we simply need to add and remove the active class from the custom sidebar so let's tap custom sidebar dot class list dot toggle active and uh, now let's click on this sidebar button and now we can see that the sidebar is being displayed and if i click on this button once again it is hidden so everything is working all right so that's basically how you can make this uh, sidebar responsive let's also check the desktop version and let's see whether we have any problems and this is the desktop version and we don't have any problems in the desktop version everything works all right right now let's add this uh, responsiveness code to our blogger website right here i'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and if i open the website in the previous video i have shown you how to add this to our blogger website and uh, now let's go ahead and add the updated code over here so that it becomes responsive so right now if we decrease the width of the browser window it is not responsive so let's add the updated code over here 
So let's go to theme and uh, let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And let's scroll down and uh, here we have the CSS of the theme. So let's scroll down and here we have the custom CSS that we added. So let's add the updated CSS over here. Let's go back to our code and let's go to the CSS file. And the updated code starts from here all the way till the end. And let's copy all of this and let's paste it over here. And we also need to add the changes that we made in the JavaScript and the HTML. So let's go to the HTML file. And we had added this sidebar button. So let's copy this. And uh, let's scroll down. And we had added the HTML just before the body tag ends. And uh, here, let's go ahead and paste the code for the sidebar button. And now let's also copy the JavaScript. So let's go back over here and uh, let's copy this updated code and uh, let's paste it over here inside the script tag. Right now, let's save this and uh, let's see whether it works. Let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And uh, we don't have any problems in the desktop version. Let's go to the mobile version. And here we can see for the mobile version, we have this uh, sidebar button. And if I click on that, we have the sidebar displayed. So everything is working all right. Now we can also remove this uh, icon from here if you want. So you can just right click over here and uh, click on inspect. And uh, let's inspect the selector. So here we have this button and we have this class of hamburger menu. So let's copy this. And let's go back to the CSS. And uh, here let's paste the selector. And uh, I just type display. And uh, let's set it to none. And let's click on save. All right, now let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the hamburger menu is not being displayed. So that's basically how you can add this custom sidebar to your blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.